Hi, this is Kelly, and this will be my 12th Lego haul. Today I have a couple orders that came in from Bricklink. And I have one from Queen Creek Bricks and one package from Grandma's Attic. I'm going to quickly open this one off camera. Uh, my husband, whose channel is Lego Drew, uh, ordered some pieces for his mock that he's building. He's adding on to the museum breakout or break in set. And I'll let him show you what he ordered from the seller. I don't want to ruin it for his. Uh, haul. So I will quickly open that up and take out what he needs. Okay, so now I'm back. I changed the angle. That way I can show you with some light uh, what I got for parts and what I'm actually making for this fundraiser. Uh, I think I mentioned a couple times in my haul videos. Um, my local library um, is having a fundraiser in uh, just a couple weeks. And so I wanted to make some things to sell so I could um, make some money for the Lego Club. And our Lego Club doesn't have too much so far. Uh, we donated some bulk bricks last year from Goodwill and uh, slowly donated some small sets as I can. Um, but I wanted to get some, like maybe some Lego education sets and some base plates, something. So I ordered some parts to make um, like Lego jewelry. Uh, things I've seen sold at Brick Fairs, but I knew I could make it as well. Um, not for profit, but for uh, charity for the Lego Club. So I came up with a couple ideas the other day while I was just working up here in the Lego room. And I liked um, adding a little bit to the tags that I'm going to use for necklaces. So I just came up with these ideas playing around with some of the Lego Friends parts and I just thought it might add a little bit to it. They might sell a little bit better. So I got those to add on. I'm not going to glue them. Um, if parents want to glue them so they stay on there, they're more than welcome to, but I don't want to put any glue on it just in case um, anybody wants to change out what they have. And these will be the boy ones that I'm going to make. And I'm not quite sure yet if these are going to be keychains or necklaces. So I got to figure those out still. I'm going to work on those this weekend. It's a nice rainy, cold day. So perfect day for me to work on this. So from Queen Creek Bricks on Bricklink, I ordered a lot of these little parts. So I got the roses in yellow and in red. Actually, I believe those are in orange, aren't they? I have to learn my Lego colors. I'm getting there. Yes, bright light orange. And try to be accurate there. And red. I got the bases that I need for some of those. Those roses just have the pinholes, so they don't have the connectors. So they gotta either go in this pink or the green. I got some stars, and I got some butterflies in red and in bright light orange, and I got some more red flowers. So thankfully she had some large quantities of these, so I'm going to make, I'm going to make a whole bunch, and I got yellow. Uh, I wish I had some different color choices. You don't have a lot in these modified um, bricks at, or in large quantities if you want to actually make something that's not going to cost too much. <laughs> so I grabbed in yellow. Grabbed some yellow ones. I also grabbed these, which I love. Um, if you have watched my husband's uh, haul video, his mother and her partner just sent us um, a whole bunch of 2001 Harry Potter sets. So we've been working on putting those together. Big Harry Potter fans here. And I mean, that was an amazing gift. So and I'm going to make um, some of these necklaces there to sell. Uh, just putting the Harry Potter uh, crest on there. It's going to be cool. And I got these. I'm going to test these out. I wanted to find something that I didn't have to glue or really modify to make into a necklace or a keychain. So I found these by looking for pinhole 
and their snake whip with a pinhole, I believe it was called. And then I also found um, some one by one tiles that I really needed. Um, last year I got the beach house from Goodwill in a set and it was just missing all the little one by one tiles for it. So I got those. So now that set is going to be almost complete. I think I needed a, a sloped window, but that one's harder to find. So that might be a little bit. So that was it from Queen Creek Bricks, other than what Drew got. And I'll let him show you in his haul video what he ordered. Okay, this next one here is from Grandma's Attic. I've ordered from them, I believe, twice before. I always find good things there. And I don't believe this has anything for Drew in it, so apologize to him if I ruin anything, but I'll, I'll try to set it aside. I don't think I got anything from him for him for this one. Let's see what I got. I'm trying to hurt myself. <laughs> okay, let's see. The first thing I got were some instructions. These are actually for my mother. Um, she's been really looking for this set. I missed out on it once, unfortunately. I saw it on Goodwill. Um, I tried to get it on there. I missed it the auction, the end of the auction by an hour. So I'm going to keep my eye out. I owe her for more for my birthday gift, definitely. So I'm going to try to find this set for her. Um, I was going to possibly um, kind of just order pieces from Bricklink and build it. So I ordered the instructions to see if I can do that easily or if I should just find it on eBay or Bricklink and buy the set. So I got the instructions for those. Uh, she also really loves... Um, the Orion Expedition sets, and um, she just got one of them a little while ago, so she actually wanted to order some of these instruction booklets, uh, see what she can build from what we have, and if not, maybe she can just take a look at the sets and see if she wants to find them on Bricklink. So we got the instructions for 7413, 7411, 7412, And small one. This is one, definitely. We have almost all the parts for it. Let's see. 7423. That's a really cute set. I think the only thing I needed from this were, were these fence pieces and those wedge pieces on the bottom. So hopefully I can help her put those together. And I ordered some parts from them as well. For the library, let's see, and I'm hoping this is the end of it. <laughs> oh, they also, I actually did this one first, and I ordered what dark tiles, uh, dark bluish gray tiles they had for my beach house. So now with these, this will be complete. I can get that done this weekend. I ordered for myself the series minifigure, the detective. I love his hat. We also are really big Sherlock fans, so I might even have to make a Benedict uh, Cumberbatch little figure. That'd be kind of funny. We'll see. And let's see. I've got some tiles here. More printed tiles. I got the jam pieces. At first, I didn't know that these were the new ones from the little uh, friend set with the tractor. Uh, I was actually going to put them on the little stand that I got, the poly bag, um, that I just got the other day. And I'm going to put that on there instead of the little strawberry tile, because I thought that was a nicer one. And then those are for the library, for the boys' tags. They had these. I mean, such great prices on these pieces. They were about two cents a piece. So for the boys' necklaces, those are just perfect. I thought they were really cool. So actually, I might even make a whole bunch of extra ones to maybe do uh, giveaways for the Lego Club. Yep, and more of these. I mean, they're so inexpensive. They're great. Really, really happy to get these. And then they had a whole bunch of modified bricks. So I got them in light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, a few black, and blue. 
So that is what I got today. And once I get all the stuff together for the library, I will do a little bit quick video on that. Um, I think that will actually help. I want to get uh, sell a lot of raffle tickets as well for the basket we're going to make. Um, I'm gonna we're donating a Lego calendar we found at Five Below. I got a furry creature set that we're gonna throw in the basket. Um, some stickers, some other really great things. So hopefully we can make that money for the Lego Club and get just get those items that we need to kind of make the Lego Club even better for the kids that go there. Uh, during the summer it gets quite busy there at the library and this it's just a great place for kids to go. Um, we don't live in the most affluent area so a lot of kids go there uh, who don't have a lot of Lego at home. So it's great to have the Lego club there which is where the kids can just build whatever they can imagine. So that's what I'm working on um, and I will let you know how it goes and I'll update on Instagram as well. So thanks for watching. I know it was a really long video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek of this Chima thing that my husband brought home last night. I'll let him talk about how he got that. <laughs> so thanks for watching and please comment and subscribe. Bye.